Bam, that's a hit. Welcome to Swamp Sniper. Hit that subscribe button and let's go. Swamp Sniper here and I have a real treat for you guys today. Probably the weirdest gun I've ever played with. I thought this was weird. And this. So this is the arrow gun. Oh my God. And this. And this. Bam. But this gun kind of tops them all. This one's called the booty shot. Oof. One more just to be safe. And I didn't even see the sniper. So this rifle is definitely deadly. It's extremely quiet and it's accurate at long range. What's not to love about it? Good call, good call. You get a full length bolt action rifle in a package the size of an M4. And I'm testing it at my field, Balahack Airsoft in Chesapeake, Virginia. Now I had a blast, but it was also frustrating. You see, it doesn't have a regular bolt. Instead, you do this. Through the gameplay I'm about to show you, you yourself will see the pros and the cons of this creation. But first, how I'm gonna be able to afford to make a future Profit. awesome video I have planned. All right. Hey, I got a large group moving left. Hey. Bro, what are you doing? I'm playing Raid Shadow Legends. Have you heard of it? You mean the sponsor for this video? Raid Shadow Legends, free to play on mobile and PC, and not just because everyone in the galaxy is playing it, but I would not have them as a sponsor for this video unless I actually played the game and enjoyed it, and I genuinely do. In this RPG hero collector game, you're battling in the realm of Teleria against undead hordes. I can play it on my phone, my computer, this 24 foot wide screen. I love that there's always action at your fingertips. You can just pop into a battle whenever you want, wherever you are. Constantly upgrading, they've added champion fragments so that you can get pieces of champions and summon a specific awesome champion. There's also a new bazaar where you can load up on high value items with gold bars that you want in the taggery. And they just extended the daily login rewards to 270 days with free champions available just for logging in. Go to the video description, download the game, and if you're a new player, you're gonna get 200,000 silver and you're gonna get a new champion. His name is Grinner. And this dude is super ugly, but he is a really good champion for beginners and it's gonna help you climb up fast in the game. All of this treasure is waiting for you right here and it's only available for the next 30 30 days to new players, so hop in, good luck, and I will see you there. Yeah, so I've heard of it. Let's get back in a fight. Good call, brother. I was getting used to it during the warm up games, but the real test will be our first large attack and defend. And that's the game I'm going to show you. Just wiped out a micro gun. Micro Gunner. An outnumbered defending team is protecting a flag inside of the tower and a case inside of the Escher. Enemy forces objective is to breach our defenses and extract these from whatever route they choose at the Cannibal Village. Our spawns are at the Bat House and at the Halfback Bunker. I encourage our team to stay out of the buildings and push forward as if we are attacking them. Go forward! Forward, guys! Get behind hard cover! Get on a corner! Keep your gun up! Right off the bat, the attacking forces clash in the south of town, but I'm worried about them flanking west. Once I ensure our defenses are solid in the south, I head over west. We are being assaulted by a very powerful team of about a hundred people, and they've got some heavy hitters on them. And I'm really just trying to like focus on playing the objective here, even though I really just want to get kills with this gun, but I'm feeling the spirit of like just trying to win a game and have fun. I hear people screaming fall back on the west or right side of our defenses. Guys, try not to fall back. Hold it as best you can. Get behind something hard, make sure a medic can get to you and do not fall back. All you have to do is protect them from crossing that gap to you. Hopefully that will keep them motivated to hold and I decide to head into the Escher building so I can communicate with both sides. <sighs> They're pushing. 
I'm about to break my rule of not putting your rifle outside of a window, but no enemies are close enough to hit me, and I had to to get this angle. Gotcha, mate. Good call. Right side, how we doing? Well, that doesn't sound very good, so I better head over there. There's no one really else. We just need to keep reinforcing as much as you can. If the attackers find a weak spot in our defense lines, we're done for. Boop. Good call. Yeah, I see him. Guys, we will win or lose by this position. Hang in there. Come on, baby, let's take him out. Got him. Now it sounds like there's trouble on the east side of town. That's a friendly. That is? Yeah. Keep your guns up, call out your targets. Bad house. Just walked on the right side of the pond, big tall thing. Get back in the fight, you guys are doing great. Right now I'm bouncing back and forth between the two flanks. Just trying to keep people in this fight. There's something about people when they play an airsoft and they get hyped up. Even if their team needs to or not, they're like, fall back, low on ammo. And it's like, no, don't fall back. You can just respawn. Gotcha. Good call, brother. I do have to say our team is doing a great job of keeping our front lines as forward as possible. The enemies are pressuring. Breaking my rule of sticking a barrel out a window. That's gonna be a hit. Come on, let's see it. Pull that rag out. Yeah, there she, there she is. You just gotta give people the benefit of the doubt. Give them a second. Don't be like, hey, I shot you. Bam, that's a hit. Good call. Well, apparently everyone on our left just died and the enemies are now entering the town in force. Keep peeking out, keep your gun up. Don't miss an opportunity, because they're coming. Hey. I'm, I wish I was a medic, brother. Run to spawn, get back in the fight. Send more people to the town. Gotcha, mate, good call, good call. Oh, hey, hey, hey. That's not good. I'm not a medic, run to spawn, brother, run to spawn. Now they're freely walking up on us. If you've got a voice, use it! Keep our boys motivated! Keep sending them forward! If a medic can't get to you, run to spawn! enemies have now taken at least a third of the town. I'm the only one in the Escher, and there are some defenders in the tower. I feel like some could already be right beneath me, ready to move up the stairs. Enemy forces are about to rush the building right in front of me. And I think they're already inside. I wish my camera angle wasn't messed up. I got at least three kills here. It's just a wall of bodies running. 
They're too close for me to engage with my rifle. Good shot, good shot. Good shooting, boys. Enemies will have both objectives within minutes, meaning our only hope now is to defend the extraction. I could have used an SSR-15 right there. That's where this thing lacks, is capacity and rate of fire. Now that the town has been taken, we have to defend the extraction point. So I respawn and start engaging players on this van all the way across the pond, while encouraging friendly players to move towards the objective. Enemies cannot hear my shots, nor do they expect that someone has that range. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. This is the moment. Hustle, let's go, let's go. Keep hooking around the cannibal, let's go, we got this. Good call, brother, good call. You just got swamped. Run away! You guys have to run away, it's your only hope. Guys, save yourselves, run away from my wrath. While this is fun, I know I'm only delaying a small group of them. The other 70 to 80 enemies are probably approaching from the south. Our spawn is the bad house right here! But a friendly player says we have it. Hi, little bro. Come on. Oh, oh. So far, I've been able to hit people on the van. I just passed it. Did I get you? He's looking for where it came from. Over here! Hey, over here! They're asking if someone behind them shot, and I'm like, no, it was me. That's why just because you can't see where it came from doesn't mean it didn't happen. Thank you, good call! Just defend the objective, you don't need a gun. So range sometimes confuses people as to whether or not they were hit because they don't get where it's coming from, but so does silence. Brother, I'm not your friendly, thank you. Even though you might not barely feel it at all at that range, that really had no excuse. Nice, we are taking it back. No, we are not. While I'm shooting at a tiny group here, their main assault force is now taking over the cannibal village, which a respawning player just told me. All blue, push! They're attacking cannibal from the south! Push! Here I was thinking that we had it and they're coming in a little trap door. Let's go, Blue! Respawn! Push that way! Let's go! Let's go! I push in with the only maybe 20 to 30 defenders that we have left to the Cannibal Village. We get on a ridge just on the side of it and try to push. You want push? Gotcha, mate. If only we had like double the numbers. Yeah, I don't know where the rest of our team is. Hey, you guys ready? Hey, everyone all the way down the line. It won't work unless everyone does it. If you have a bolt action that's, you know, limited, you're good, brother. On three, one, two, three, go, 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 go. No yelling, just go. Just guns up and shoot them. Go, 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 get up there. Push that, hit. Our push is not successful, but it looks like there really aren't that many enemies left Ooh. there. Medic then heals me up and I give it another shot. I'm out. I'm out of ammo. With only minutes left in the scenario, this was frustrating because I thought that we actually had this and could prevent them from extract. All right, Mr. Weird Rifle, thank you for your service. I had only a few rounds left and I'd rather go down shooting. Hit, shot, and I'm dead. The enemies won this game and it was a well-deserved victory.
The rifle was built by Ryan. If you watch my videos, you know who I'm talking about, and it's a full-size M24 LTR that he chopped down, put a Wolverine bolt system, and turned into a bullpup rifle. He eliminated the original bolt by adding this forward-backward aluminum rod that runs the length of the rifle that runs on this rail system that's only made possible by 3D printed parts. The hop-up is adjustable by this small disc that he placed on the top, and the original trigger area was moved forward, replaced by an HPA tap, and supplemented by these two buttons, one being the trigger and one being the safety itself. It still takes the original M24 LTR mags, which honestly are annoying because all you have to do is look at them or barely touch them, and the BBs spring right out of it, which can make it frustrating while reloading or sticking your mags in your pouches. When shooting left-handed, the rod kind of gets in your face, but other than that, it will just take some getting used to. It's a great performing rifle, which is really a testament to the Wolverine bolt, and I think it's so unique, and I'm so thankful that he made this rifle for me. So thank you, Ryan, and everyone else. Thank you guys for watching this. Let me know if you wanna see more crazy custom creations. Thanks for watching Swamp Sniper. Whatever you do out there in life, stay safe, enjoy it, and peace.